You like dinosaurs that throw you across the map? Good, we've most definitely got you covered. Do you like launching monkeys into buildings? That's pretty fun. Do you like playing the same three maps for 27 levels straight with the only difference being enemy type and placement? Well, for about only $20, 15 British pounds, you can have that and absolutely nothing more, besides a uh, two-player split-screen mode, which of course works great for PC. I don't know about you, but I've seen this ad way too many times whilst doom-scrolling the Expert app, which you can uh, which you can follow me there, by the way. It's uh, it actually is not worth it. It's called Hammer of Virtue, and it's been on my radar for a while now, especially as someone who enjoys ragdoll physics and destroying things ever since Red Faction Guerrilla, which, by the way, is the same price on Steam. Anyway, th this game has mostly negative reviews for a reason which, after the first two levels, you'll quickly begin to see why. For your first task, please eliminate all enemies so we can investigate the site. Be careful, we only have one sample of the unbreakable armour. Use the environment to your advantage. Right, well this is it, this is brilliant. It is very- it's extremely loud. Okay, I've, I've just clicked off the screen so my cursor's not locked in. But yeah, cursor's- Cursor's not locked in. I don't know how to attack. Okay, it's E to attack. It's it's a bit laggy, although it's, at least it's fun to smack things. Can I jump? I can't jump. Okay, so it's Q to smack that way, E to smack that way. There's no tutorial. Uh, really? Like, can I actually not jump? Okay, so it's X to smack upwards, I guess. Like, I can't use my cursor besides aiming. So I'm, I'm just going to deal with this. What, what was it? It was this right oh christ i've just got to smack enemies right whoa yeah that guy went flying okay uh i, I honestly i pressed e just to uh, open the door but nah i mean that i guess that works either way i do like stuff like this i'm not gonna lie man like being able to just annihilate things is always fun in games can i kill the fridge well i couldn't really see it but it's gone I just realized I don't really have any health or anything. It's just... This is it. <laughs> this is chaos, man. Come on. Get out of here. Can I smash the rocks? Hey, you can actually smash the rocks. It's pretty cool. It's really weird that you can't jump or anything. I guess I've, I've got like this unbreakable armor, so there's not really much I can do here. But there is a mini map. It does show you where the enemies are. Although, check this out. Right, you see that? It's based on where the character's looking. There we go, victory. Beat level one is the achievement. Okay, they do have more levels. Brilliant. All right, so I can see a drone. Uh, is it going to shoot me? There's a lot more stuff to destroy. Invisible wall. Oh, uh, Hold on. We are only here to do research. It's not an invisible wall. And the monkeys are talking to me. Oh, is it just this person talking to me? Okay, so they apparently they're here just to do research, but if you're doing research, why are you why do I have to smack you, huh? They could have done something a bit more with the <laughs> I I take I take everything back. Just just getting a good launch on a monkey is the best thing in this game. That's a double kill right there. My god. Oh, that was it. L level... F what? Okay, so I've got level 3 and 4. Combat training! Why are you giving me... Hang on. This can't be a tutorial. We we've just played uh, two levels. Had to figure things out for ourselves. And now, we're getting a tutorial? This should be here. Not here. Onboarding 101. Anyway, you know what? At least we've got one. And now we've got to learn a new combat system with this bear. While an aggressively... A very annoyingly sassy woman that calls us pathetic. Please select the bear. Please select the bear. Right. Now lock on to the bear. Press F to lock on to the bear. Adequate. Block four attacks. How do I block? Okay, so press Q, 2, or E to block. Wait, what? No way. Block is just... This is not the way. Ooh. What do you mean it's not the way? You're just telling me to it's a parry. It's not a block. Incorrect. Wait, 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 wait. I've got to read this. 
Hold, oh, hold space and pr I'm, I'm an idiot. I'm genuinely an idiot. Why do you guys subscribe to me? I've protected myself. Look at me fly. Okay, right. Uh, which way are you going to attack? So I've got to hold space bar and then got to figure out, okay? Bad. How's that bad? Come on. Bad. <laughs> Shut up. Just protect yourself. Look at the movement on this. Look how fast I'm moving and look at how, how I'm stepping right now. This is insane. Pathetic. God damn it. Oh, I'm moving back from those ones. No, no, no. No, no, no. Look, I can be British too, all right? No, 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 no. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to be quiet in the library. No, go go outside. I've been there before, man. I've heard that exact same person before. I swear to God. I don't... I can't see health in this in this game. There is no indication... Oh, it's on my backpack. You can see there. Okay, they didn't explain that. See, I... I it's stuff like this that makes me feel like an idiot, but... Wrong. Try again. I'm not an idiot. I swear to God. Bad. It was at this moment where I uh, I realized that this game had a somewhat in-depth combat system. By that, I mean parrying at different angles is a thing you need to know, especially for later. Now, you can change keybinds in this game, but the problem is, is that if you wanted to use your mouse, you really can't. And the reason is that your cursor isn't locked into the screen, so you can probably imagine how annoying that is with a uh, second monitor. Now, later, I did switch to a controller and came back to this tutorial just to see if I missed anything. I didn't, by the way. It just teaches you how to parry and attack. It doesn't even mention this ability, this, uh, it's called fast travel in the keybinds. Which, to be fair, is a pretty cool feature. I mean, I've just launched myself into a crane here, and, uh, it, it's fun, okay? At least put it into the tutorial so I know that I can play with it. Anyway, at this point, I gave up with the tutorial. I, I was sick of this woman calling me pathetic, and to be honest, I thought the parry system was not even needed. Which... <laughs> Which was a really, really poor decision, as we will see later. But now we're in a residential area with uh, perfectly normal cars and more bears. Now you may notice, by the way, I've turned off the music, okay? It is very loud. I, It's okay, but all, at the end of the day, all I want to hear is this. Pure physics. Listen to that. Perfect. All right. Look at that. Car. Car in destruction game. Okay, how's this gonna work? I can move it. I can move the car around. Can I break it? Oh, I could tip it over. Can I? Can I destroy this car? <laughs> just hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. I, I've just seen this. Look at look at the windscreen right now. That's a, that's not how. It's not how destruction with cars works, man. Okay, that yeah, works with collision. Yeah, at least it breaks stuff. That is... Uh, that is... N <laughs> Look at the side, man. I, I, I have a feeling these cars are just made out of plastic. I mean, come on. it's That is not... I, what they, they set on fire? That's pretty cool. Can I launch this? Kind of. I really wish I could drive a car in this game. It would be so funny, man. Just imagine smashing this into... Right. Oh. It's back over... Okay. What? You know what, man? I've dealt with ghosts before. I am not going to deal with that. Come on, Carl. Use your warp plastic warp physics. And let's kill the bear. Oh. Hang on. It's on fire. Does he take fire damage? Come on. Take fire damage. Please. But big mistake. Big mistake. I'm on fire. Bear. Right, okay. You know what, man? Screw it. I'm gonna go inside. Just let me in. Why am I falling over? What? Why am I falling over? Come on. Where's he gone? He's dead. He's dead. He... I think he killed himself. Look, at you can actually launch these... You can launch these guys. This... this uh, how much damage can this guy do to a house? I feel like X is the best attack in this game. <laughs> you can just... You just uppercut everything. The whole house is moving. My god. Whoa. All right. See if I can, um... Okay, I thought I could use the monkey against it, because I feel like... Whoa! I feel like physics is... <laughs> that guy is so... 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I feel so bad for this monkey. Yeah, I feel like physics is a, a very powerful beast in this game. So can I... Ah, I don't know what that did. Again, it's, it's a mystery to me. Nothing else has really been explained besides, I guess... Oh, come on, monkey. We've got a... Uh, we got a... Hey, look, we got to kill another bear. I think there's a lot of enemies on this map, and I don't... I, I'm not a... Uh, I have no idea how this is going to pan out, but hey. Oh! Alright, man. Fuck. Okay. I thought I was out the way of that. No. Come on. What? I think the bear just launched a monkey into me. I can't believe it. I actually can't believe I got outplayed like that. Not gonna lie, I, I kind of forgot that I died to this bear. But uh, anyway, after learning that cars are made out of plastic and that bears can be quite difficult, and quickly moved on to the next, which has us in this construction site again. Now, I didn't really know at this point, and it's something I mentioned at the beginning of this video, but the 27 levels, I kid you not, there are only three map variants. And we've already seen them all. You've got this construction site, you've got a forest, and a residential residential area. That's it. That is all there is to play with. They just swap them around a bit later and maybe change the time of day and maybe place some things in different areas. I, I don't know. This is one of the reasons why this game has mostly negative reviews is because for $20, the actual content really isn't that much. To be fair, I did have a good bit of fun running around this place in particular and destroying things. I even destroyed another crane and uh, the, the monkeys, they just couldn't deal with the physics. Whoa, okay, kind of, whoa, I, I was worried I was going to miss that, but I got it. Get out of here. Whoa. All right, the physics is not agreeing with me today. Perfect. One thing that does change, though, are the enemies, and there are... There are quite a few to mess with, and quite a few that mess with you. Including these poor, fragile robots. Oh, look at that. It's night time now, and we got a bunch of katana people. Oh, look at that. Now, I, I don't even know- Whoa! What- what is- what is going on? Oh, these guys are fragile, so they're like, fun enemies to kill. You just kind of smack them and they uh they lose their arms i like that destructible enemies always always a good thing look it's just a leg look, look, look at him look at him go man they are relentless they do not care <laughs> look at it attack <laughs> did it just say pain yeah i think it said pain these are the type of enemies you really want in a game that's about destruction. Enemies that, that fall apart. I mean, look at this guy. He's, he's only got a leg and he's still going for it. Now, one thing that you'll learn about this game is that they have uh, two enemy variant types. What the f What am I even saying? There are two enemy types, okay? You've got lightweight enemies and heavyweight enemies. For example, for heavyweight enemies, so far we've just seen the bear and uh, they don't really respond to your attacks. You kind of hit them enough times, they die, but they don't really ragdoll. And then you've got lightweight enemies, the enemies you could basically just launch. And these guys in particular, in a game about destruction, uh, chaos, and ragdoll physics, really complement the game. Now, unfortunately, these robots are the only ones that break apart. But even though lightweight enemies are a lot easier than heavyweight enemies, they can still be challenging like these raptors in the next level. Is it just the one? Ah! Whoa! <laughs> Alright, I wasn't expecting them to fly. I love this. Okay, raptors are my favorite. They scree and they they flee. They got a lot of different attack moves though. Okay, that's dead. I really want to do the thing that was in the trailer. Look at it. You've got wow, look, you've got this, and then they what is it? They jump into the thing. Whoa! Whoa! Alright, I wasn't expecting that to happen. <laughs> okay, I made it up here. Okay, so raptors have quite a long lock on. They're also quite easy to kill, because I mean, you just smack them and 
they launch, man. <laughs> Smacks its head on the way out. See, I like enemies like this. Give me fun enemies. <laughs> Give me fun enemies like this. <laughs> this is great. Okay, now, now I'm enjoying the game. This is what I like. The hitbox on these guys is not... Whoa! It's not that easy to deal with. Okay, got rid of him. Don't know what's happening with this guy. He's... Can't lock onto him. No! No, ah, come on! Yeah, look at that. These guys are both fun to smack and uh, deadly if left unchecked. Now, another thing about enemies is that there are variants. And to be brutally honest, it's really just a change of color, maybe size and attack pattern. Like this gold bear in the next level. But you see, at this point, I, I still wasn't powering. I, I couldn't be asked with that combat mechanic. So I found out that the best strat is to really just <laughs> smack things at them. If you do this successfully, you'll also gain some health. And as demonstrated in the next level with a new monkey variant, it's it's a pretty good time. Yeah, he just smacked his own teammates. What a fucking idiot. Get out of here. You, you dumbass. Oh man, I actually deserved that. Like these are the these are fun enemies. These are enemies like, like bears suck. Bears give let me smack a bear to the moon, okay? And I will, I'll be happy to play against bears. But besides that, no. Because Monkey, I, I I don't even know where the other guy's gone. He just disappeared. Whoa! Okay, that might explain why. I think this guy's still... Whoa! No idea how he did that, but well done. Let's just stop falling over. Look, that twig is... That twig's actually deadly. <laughs> it's just knocking him over. I can't even get up. No! <laughs> Come on, man. Maybe if I find a twig again. Yes, twig. Oh my god, it actually worked. Look at his ass, man. Monkey ass. These twigs. If I can get a hit on one of these twigs, it's like an insta kill. Yes. Another hit. Get him whilst he's down. Whoa. There we go. Now, can I launch this guy into space? I think I may have. Almost. Oh, look at that. He's over there. Oh, I, I, I won. There was still more, man. Okay, look, there may not be that much content. It may be very repetitive so far. And you know what? Whilst playing this game so far, I was having fun. But you see, there is one more level after this. And, it, you know, it introduces these uh, these big sumo robots with long sticks. They're, they're kind of annoying to kill, but eventually I find an exploit for them later. Uh, for now, I just threw stuff at them, hoped that they died, and uh, used friendly fire against them. But everything was about to change. You see, the next level has this thumbnail here, and you can probably imagine what we're about to fight next. I mean, I've already shown clips of it, but you've not seen how ridiculous this enemy actually is. I do have to quickly jump in and say, though, that there is a, a story behind this game. Uh, this guy in a drone is giving off a lot of dialogue, and the dialogue goes on for a while. I've cut it out because it's kind of boring and the story, it could be summarized very quickly. I'll do that towards the end where it's relevant. Anyway, here is uh, probably one of the most painful moments I've had in this series. All right, the nerds stop talking. Let's kill the dinosaur. Whoa, whoa, Christ. What the f- How, how, how? How am I supposed to beat this thing? Look at it. Okay. Oh god, this is not easy. Their idea of difficulty in this game is just, let's make enemy big. Uh, let's make it attack you really fast. So you have absolutely no chance in hell of doing anything. Or even the ability to run away because it's got a giant stick on its nose. And there you go, that, that, there's your game. Right, the only thing I can do is just hope to dear god I can get up fast enough to actually attack this thing. And what does it want me to do? Does it want me to just block attacks? Like, what, what do I do in this situation? I beg a 
of you. Stop fighting and please consider. Yeah, well, what? Like, you're telling me to not fight, but now I've got to deal with this guy who's just smacking a house to pieces with bits just kind of stuck here. I don't know what to do, man. I feel like my, my best bet with this guy is just to smack things at him, or at least try to, and that's about it. Oh, I got a hit on him. There we go. There we go. Just run. There is nothing I can do now besides die. Where's he even coming from? I, I can't even tell. Because they f***ed up the audio so bad. Like, how, how do you how do you charge that much money and, and f*** up the audio that bad? At least he waits for you to get up. Like, I mean, there, there's... He's polite in that regard. It's... What am I meant to do, man? Well... I mean... I died so many times to this guy. Just look at how fast he moves, how fast he attacks. Once he's knocked you over, he'll just stand there waiting. And then the moment you get up, it's smack. Honestly, at the time, it just seemed impossible. That is until I remembered something. This game, as I've mentioned before, has a parry system. Now, instead of it being something optional, for this guy in particular, it was a requirement. There is no way, besides maybe hitting him with some objects, that you could actually damage this guy without stunning him. And so, after getting stuck in a rock, that's exactly what I did. I did it. I, I, hey! This took so many attempts that I, I basically switched off, hence why the very enthusiastic yay. Now, after this, we, we have a few more levels fighting uh, more things and more variations of, uh, of the same thing. For a while, I was back at it, just smacking objects at these enemies and uh, eventually getting a swing in every now and then. But then the game decides to throw another curveball with uh, another large dinosaur. And my god, was this absolute hell. I don't know how many levels there are, and I have a feeling there's like 20 or something. If I have to defeat another boss again, like a, an annoying big boss, I'll, I'll be done. Wait, what the hell is that? There's a you got to be kidding me. I, I'm, in a, I'm in a possible situation with some random nerd lecturing me about humanity's problems. Uh, I've got a problem right now. Uh, you haven't told your reptiles and monkeys to stop attacking me, you know, whilst you're lecturing me and, and confused at the fact that I'm actually against you. Wait a minute. There's another one. How do I even knock myself out? Christ. Jesus Christ, man. I, I just can't. Wait a minute, Hope, hopefully I don't have to kill every single one of them. Oh. I've got no idea, man. I absolutely no idea how to deal with these guys. It's just, look at that, they're so fast. It's just like the last one. Just like the last, I can't even get a hit in. No, yeah, okay, fine. I'm trying to parry, but it ain't working. Right. Jesus, come on. Come, just stop. Nah, alright, fine. Yep, yeah, do you know what? It's fine. It's fine. I'm beginning to think that big enemies in this game are a big problem. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, oh, Wiz, why don't you just parry them? Well, you see, I could do that, but uh, parrying again with the keyboard is very awkward. Not to mention the fact that there are multiple of these dinosaurs. To be fair, I could have taken each one at a time, but instead of doing that, I thought to myself, well, why don't we just get the dinosaurs to run into buildings? At least then, they can take some damage from the falling rubble, and uh, sometimes, sometimes enemies just die from glitched out objects. Uh, Look at this guy. He was dead at the start of the game. How does that even happen? It took me a while, but eventually I managed to get through this level. However, this was nothing compared to what was going to happen next. Because in the next level, it is pitch black. With the only light sources being these destructible lamps. And to make matters worse, not only were there some pretty tough variants of uh, enemies we've seen before, but there was another one of these. I had to figure out how to kill this thing with limited light sources. And it's, it's safe to say it wasn't easy. Dude, I, I swear to God. 
just kill him. Kill him. I, I need the debris to kill this guy. Is it, we've got shield monkeys now. Come on. There is nothing I can do about the situation. The moment I get up, smack. There we go. Oh, this is going to sound really weird, but every time I hear a smack, uh, I can hear this. I can hear something behind me. Oh, is he dead? <gasps> oh, no, he's not dead. Every time I hear a smack, right? Like... You know what, man? Uh, I honestly didn't think the bear was going to get me, but uh, there you go. Right, physics. you got to set up these little things. They're like traps, right? If you just... Look how slow they fall. There we go. I've got, I've got some... Uh, got a hit on him. Oh, here he comes. Yeah, I think I think the bear can actually damage him. Christ. All right, forklift, uh, save me. You're not doing a great job. Yes, bear, hit him. Just please. You know, I'm at, and the forklift came. Well, <laughs> okay, the forklift uh, died for a second, and then came back. That was probably the coolest part about that moment. But um, screw this level. But I'm still getting hit. You can hear that I'm still getting hit. Well, the these guys are relentless. I was starting to get pretty sick of these guys, so I hatched a plan, and the plan was to use the enemies against each other. So I got every single thing to chase after me, including this guy, and eventually he fell over. I also managed to clear out the remaining enemies, and after killing the last one, nothing happened. So I thought maybe I missed someone. Maybe there's somebody out there in the darkness on the other side of the map. I, I, I don't know. I went around looking for ages trying to find the last enemy. But in the end, there was no one. What I think happened is that one of the heavy enemies smacked a light enemy so hard that not only did it go out of bounds, but it was still alive, meaning that it would be impossible for me to complete this level. After that realization, I was, I was completely done. It was the salt on the wound after everything I went through in the last level. And you know what? I, I gave up. I quit the game and that was it. But you see, I couldn't not complete this game. I had to make it to the end. I had to see what this game actually has to offer. So on the next day, I logged back on and this time I actually used a controller. A controller that I, I kid you not was on my desk this whole time. And man, I, I really wish I used this earlier because after plugging that in, this game was finally on my side and parrying could never have been easier. Oh my God, man. it's so, it's so fast. Right, let's let's just try and just calm down a little bit. Let's get this. There we go. God damn it, man. Oh, oh! I figured it out. I figured it out. You just move right into him. I. Yes. Okay. Cool. Now I've got two more enemies to kill. I hope. This is brutal. I, I feel like this should be illegal. There we go. I did it. Finally. Jesus Christ, man. Okay. You could hear the relief in my voice. With a controller in hand, things were much easier. And it's because on my controller, X, Y, B, and A were the attack buttons, which of course are a lot easier to hit than Q, 2, E, and X on the keyboard. I also have no idea how this is flowing. Anyway, what's next in this game? Okay, what else is there to see? We've already seen all the maps. We, we've seen a whole bunch of different enemies. What else is there to see? Well, besides the last level where we have to fight the final boss, there are about two things of interest. One is this variant of enemies that have energy shields. It's only half and they spin around, so the idea is that you're meant to hit them at the right angle. But then you've got these guys, the biggest dinosaur in the game. And you know what? I actually like them. Okay. What? It Whoa! Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Well, I, I didn't realize I was playing like a full-on dinosaur game. All right. I've got, to, I've got to figure out how to actually fight one of these guys properly. Oh. Oh, <laughs> all right, man. Let's let's chill for a second. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the is going on? Oh man, it's bugging out so much. I feel like this guy's uh very much prone to getting bugged. Get in there. I'm actually learning this game a little bit better now. Oh. There we go. Flying. No! Oh, come on, man. That is not fair. 
<laughs> Did it. All right, cool. Yeah, as far as big dinosaurs go in this game, this guy is the best. We even get to fight another one later in the construction site and just watch this guy wipe out everybody else. His attack range is insane and you can really use it to your own benefit. But anyway, there is one last enemy. And to understand why this guy is here and where he's coming from, I need to quickly brief you on the story. So enjoy clips of me smacking things and getting smacked about. A anyway, humanity has come together under the banner of the Unified Realm. And there's this terrorist organization called Scientific freedom who are the guys that we've been fighting and they have something called unbreakable armor i mean it's it's not the most creative name but we've managed to get some which explains why we're in a full suit of it and apparently only blunt force trauma can be used against these monkey terrorists which 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 is why we're using a hammer and not a gun throughout this whole game this guy in the drone has been going on and on about how they're the good guys that we should join them and that all they want to do is fight for their right to research in these areas to progress in the name of science. Which at first sounds reasonable besides the, uh, the dinosaurs flinging me across the map. Because uh, there's a catch. Sometime in the past, humanity was on the verge of discovering self-aware AI. But instead of doing this on Earth, where it could go rogue and spread, they did it on the moon. It turned out that they were successful, but after a couple of hours, all communication with the moon base stopped. So the unified realm concluded that the moon was now unsafe. As a result, spaceflight was suspended and all research on AI was suppressed. They're basically suspicious that this nerd in a drone is trying to continue the research in AI, hence why all of this shit is going on. Oh, and apparently there's something about life extending drugs. I don't know, man. We now need to confront this guy and this may just be the most difficult battle in the entire game. So this is it. With the help of your excellent combat skills, your precious unified realm oh, there has he is. won. One last thing before we end this. What are you trying to accomplish? Why you never Wait, see what the hell's going on? I, I haven't... I, I have no idea what's going on now. I, I, I'm pretty sure he was going to have some sort of monologue. But now he's doing this all this... special stuff. I swear to... I swear to God I'm supposed to... Yeah, I, I don't care, man. Right, okay. I swear to God I'm actually trying. But I have no idea what, what's actually going on. What the f- Have I bugged? <laughs> what the f is going on, man? Have I bugged this game out? Wait a minute, I've got an idea. Oh. Let's get- Oh, dude! Dude, what is going on? This is- This is- The most annoying boss I've ever had to deal with in my life. Can't see anything because of lag and also being stuck in a building. Can't see his attacks because they're all uh, kind of yeah, sort of under the ground. Can't get up or move, so it's it's a matter of kind of where you get launched to. I I I, I literally can't see anything, so I, I no. Oh, I got I got one hit on him. There we go. I feel good about that. Pretty damn sure I parried that, but it moves so fast, it lags out the game. Worst boss ever? I think so. What are you doing? Uh, what? What? I, d I did it? I, I actually killed the guy. Oh, come on. You didn't even give me a chance to smack him. Bro, I don't even know how I managed to do that, but I managed to beat the game. I feel good about it, but uh, my God, that was, that was absolute hell. As of recording, I'm still very salty that I'm not able to smash like on this guy. $20, please. The least you could do is let me smack him. Right, anyway, the last thing to look at is this two-player split-screen mode, or modes. 
You've got co-op, which is pretty self-explanatory, and deathmatch, which is also self-explanatory. And here's me playing with my soul, uh, playing two controllers at the same time. This one here in particular is deathmatch, and as you can see, you can bring a few monkeys to help you if 1v1 isn't your thing, and to be fair, it works. That is, though, if you have two controllers and if you also have a friend, because there is no online mode. I did find it funny, though, that in deathmatch, you can only play two out of the three maps in this entire game. There's a big lack of content in this game, right? I guess this is the biggest point that's been made. Is this game worth $20? In my book, no. Did they spend more on marketing costs than the game itself? I, I don't know. But that ad was running for a long time. People like myself expected there to be more, but there wasn't. This game was released about a week ago, and this is a video from a year ago. What I'm seeing here versus what I've played looks very similar, if not the same. Now, in the production of this video, I have seen that they have released at least two patches, and I, I think one small fix. There's still currently an issue of the, uh, the cursor not locking into the screen, but um, I don't know, man. This isn't an early access. I, I don't know what the roadmap is besides some already announced difficulty settings. But I think it's safe to say that this was most definitely not an ideal launch. Anyway, that was Hammer of Virtue. Thank you very much for watching. And also a massive thanks to all my supporters over on Patreon who helped me to, to buy these games. And not just supporters on Patreon, but also members of this channel as well. Thank you very much for joining. But of course, a massive shout out to all of my Wicked Slayers and Cyber Wizards. Gibbles by the Dozen, Nick Wooler forgot to change his name again, The Cuddly Bop, Camille B, Negadan, The One With Severed Toes, Blixed, Rare Alex, Basto, Finra, Alice Caprol, Lynn Kerr, Mr. Pine, Spooky, Rosal. Bugatti, King Swing, Distant Reality, Legea Yana, Draga Funyan, Alex Nibs, Arcadius, Adam, Times Twice, Chris Blaga, Scotched Eggs, Big Ram, and Grimber. And I'll see you, to be honest, I'm just going to go play Red Faction. I, I, I'm not going to do anything else besides that for a while.